In today's episode of Level Up, I got a really cool one. Today we're going to be looking at, yes, here it is, the Obsbot Tiny 2. Oh, but Mike, we've done a video on this one. Well, yes, we have. But in this video, we're going to be doing something even more cool. We're going to connect it to this guy right here. And what is this? This is the UVC to NDI adapter. What does that mean? You can now take your Obsbot Tiny 2 webcam, which is straight USB-C, to your computer and make it an NDI connection with this right here. Oh my goodness, I'm loving it. NDI, baby, let's check it out. All right, so here we go. You were watching me on the OBSBOT Tiny 2 in this moment, and you see right here, I have the OBSBOT UVC to NDI adapter kind of mounted on this tripod here, just so we can kind of see uh, what I'm hooking up as I'm hooking it up. Future Mike here. As I was editing this video, getting ready to post it to YouTube, I realized I forgot to do my full disclosure. And that's very important to me because honesty in my reviews is the utmost importance for you guys, the viewers. So as you guys know, if you haven't watched this channel before, I have an ethics statement that I operate by on this channel. I send it to all the vendors and uh, manufacturers that want to send me stuff before they send me their things. I got to agree to that. In which I say, in nuts and bolts of it, that just because you send me something, if you'd like to send me something, doesn't guarantee that I will make a video review. If I do make a video review, it doesn't guarantee a specific outcome. And all, expre all opinions expressed in my videos are mine and mine alone. Now, having said that, the OBSBOT Tiny 2 and the NDI adapter. Let's check it out. Now, when I reached out to OBSBOT when it came to reviewing this, I just had a question. You know, with the OBSBOT tail air, I had to purchase NDI keys. Uh, that's $99 for a key in order for you to operate at NDI. They said no. With this one, you're able to turn your OBSBOT Tiny 2 into an NDI camera using this adapter, and you don't have to purchase a key for it. Awesome. Sounds good. Looks like a great idea. Let's go ahead and plug this in, take it for a test drive and see what it could actually do. So painful lesson that I just learned, spent 25 minutes trying to figure out why it wouldn't work. And then it occurred to me, have I done a firmware update lately? No, I have not. And this is a new device. This is new software. This is new stuff for the OBSBOT tail air. So, or tiny too. So having said that, when you get this, make sure when you, if you already have the OBSBOT app, you've been using it with the tiny two for a while, or you got it with the OBSBOT tail air, whatever it is, Make sure you have the latest firmware update so it recognizes the adapter. It was not doing that. So now, once you finally get the app up to date, you bring it back up, you open it, and you get this uh, screen right here. You're going to see if you click no device, NDI adapter, this isn't going to work. You need to go down to enter NDI web, and then you click that. And then when you do, it'll ask you for your login and password. Your login and password are going to be in the instructions that you get with the NDI adapter. So you just enter that information in and then this screen pops up right here. And now we are in business where you see your dashboard, NDI adapter name, serial number, MAC address, IP address, very important. All that good stuff. Auto obtain is what it's on. Obsbot Tiny 2. So again, on this screen right now, now you're in this software using the adapter. I can now operate, as you see here, the camera with the gimbal by just moving this around. So if you don't want to use hand gestures, you want to be able to operate it by gimbal, this is where you're going to find it. All right. And then, of course, you can activate your tracking. So now it's just going to follow me around the room. And then if you don't want that again, just turn that off and use just the gimbal. And then you can do your presets where it's pre-save shots. Go into your image. And again, your HDR is on. You can turn that off. And this is what you get. Okay, and then uh, da, 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 I just now noticed this. I got some poofy hair sticking up in the back there. We're going to have to fix that. If that ain't been bugging you, that's going to bug me. All right, so there's all this stuff. There's all the features that are in there, HDR, focus, and autofocus or not, global or face, auto exposure, white balance, anti-flicker, your custom settings that you can get in OBSBOT. So... All the stuff is still in here. It's just wrapped up in a different package, but you just click it. You're already going to know your way around if you've had the OBSBOT Tiny 2 and have been using the app. So there you go. But I love how they give you a dashboard that just lets you know all the information that you need. I like it. I'm excited. 
I'm really excited about this one because now all the cool things about the Obsbot tail air are now in the Obsbot Tiny 2 as far as NDI and its ability to connect to your computer. Super easy to hook up. I'm telling you, the Obsbot tail air had a learning curve to it to be able to use RTSP, NDI, all that stuff. It took me days. It took me days to, to wrap my head around it, to get it to work on my computer, certain apps, connecting NDI, all that stuff. With this NDI adapter by Obsbot for the Tiny 2, it was literally plug and play. I plugged it in, and then the instructions in here tell you exactly what to get. If you don't have NDI at all, you don't have the Obsbot tail air, still super easy. It tells you right in the instructions. Just go and download the NDI adapter. Uh, let me just bring it back up on my screen real quick. So if you don't have it, just go on the, the App Store and then get your NDI launcher, access manager, converter, Look for that right there, and I think it's the NDI launcher. Google that, download the app, get you all the stuff you need, and then on the top of the screen, as you see here, you click it, and then it's right there. And that's all you have to do. You don't have, you don't need NDI codes like you did the Obsbot tail air. You don't have to do all that fancy stuff on top of that. You get that NDI launcher, get that pro, that software on your computer, plug this in, and you're rocking and rolling NDI baby. And it's, it's I just love it. I love it. I love it a lot. All right, my final thoughts on this little guy right here, the UVC to NDI adapter. I absolutely love this device for my Obsbot Tiny 2 webcam. This thing now is able to give me NDI connection from a webcam and just, just shatters the ceiling, tears down the walls on what you can do with this webcam. But uh, just to be able to level up the abilities of this Obsbot Tiny 2, man, I really, really appreciate this thing because what I really love about Obsbot, unlike the other companies like the Insta360 Link or the Elgato's, like they make their device and it's more of a firmware update, but that's it. But what Obsbot is doing is not only do they update the firmware as far as its software ability and just what it can do as a webcam, they continue to make products here in order to expand and shatter and break walls as far as what you can do with that device. 4K streaming, pan tilt zoom, you can use your gimbal to, again, so if you have it in another room and you're just trying to watch, you can get into your software and move the camera around to chase whatever it is you want it to look at. It's unbelievable. I love it. So pros, it completely changes the game as far as what you can do with your Obsbot Tiny 2. Things that you could only get in the tail air, which is right here. If you wanted the NDI adapter, that's another $100. Then if you want to buy the NDI code, that's another $100 on top of that. So you can get up around 700 bucks when you want to be able to use this as an NDI camera anywhere in your facility. This right here Painfully, it's painful to say it's $299, but for 300 bucks, if you already have your Obsbot Tiny 2 and you want that, that tail air functionality, for 300 bucks, you can combine the two and now you're cooking. It's a tall ask, I think, for a lot of people to spend 329 on the Obsbot Tiny 2 in the adapter on top, but you're not buying this because of the camera. You're getting this because of the capabilities that you get with this webcam and through Obsbot that you just don't get anywhere else. This is unbelievable. And the ease of use in which you're able to access your NDI. Again, by buying this adapter here, you don't need the key code, the NDI key code that you have to buy separate with the tail air. This does it for you. It's like built in. You don't need a key code. As soon as you plug it in, it recognizes it and you're, you're off and running. So it's a one-time purchase of $299. If you already have the Obsbot Tiny 2 for 300 bucks, you can just do crazy stuff with this thing. I mean, unbelievable stuff. And one last thing. I just thought I'd play around for a few seconds. I was curious. I also have an Obsbot Meet 4K in my studio that I use for my overhead shots at my live streaming desk. And I'm like, you know what? I wonder if this will work on the Meet 4K. Plugged it in. Went to the NDI source on OBS. And voila, here it is. It works with the Meet 4K. Another cool thing. The two best ones to me are the Elgato Facecam Mark II that just came out. Really exceptional. Love that webcam. Or the Obsbot Meet 4K, 4K webcam at the same price, $149. But with Obsbot, they just don't leave you there. This adapter works with the Meet 4K. So you can take your $150 Obsbot camera and make it NDI with buying this adapter.
I love it. I love it. I love this webcam too. This is crazy. It's a fixed lens without PTZ, but it has the software in it to track you. I love it. All right. Just wanted to share that before I wrap up this video. Awesome. <sighs> Obsbot. Man, you are killing it right now. Killing it. Let's wrap this video up, shall we? Do I think it's worth the $300? I do. So the pros on this, just the ability to completely destroy the walls that keep you confined to Obsbot Tiny 2 being just a webcam. I mean, now you're like mind blown with all you can do with this and the places you can go and the video feed that you can bring into your battle station anywhere that has an Ethernet connection. You can bring it in from there by the click of a button. It's crazy. Uh, the other pro was how quick and easy it was for me to connect it. The Obsbot Tail Air had a huge learning curve for me. Huge. Took me a couple days in order to wrap my head around the NDI, how to get it to work. Uh, just software compatibility it, and plus it was just coming out when they sent it to me it wasn't hadn't been released yet so we were working out the bugs there were no bugs with this one the only issue that i had was i had forgotten to update my firmware to make sure the software was up to date so it would recognize this adapter because again this adapter is new this came out after uh the software did so those are pros my con is the price 299 is a lot but if you have 299 it's worth it it's worth it. The stuff you could do with this thing gets me so excited as a content creator. It's crazy. It's crazy. Like, I can do an unboxing video now in another room. I could set this up, plug it into my Ethernet cable. I'm not confined to my small space in here. I can set up an unboxing station, a desk with the lighting in my bedroom or in my dining room or in my kitchen and anywhere I want and do my unboxing and bring it into my OBS software and record it there. It's just crazy. Like my mind is like racing now with all the stuff that I could do with this thing. It's really cool. So $299, it's worth the price. The only con is some people aren't willing to pay that price. That's that's a big, big price tag. But my honest opinion, it's worth it. If you have it, you're not gonna regret it when you buy it. It's gonna be so cool. That's all I got. All right, the obs bot. Uh Tiny 2 USB, or what is this? I can't even say it right. UVC to NDI adapter for $299. I love it. It's worth the price tag. It's just whether or not you're willing to pay two, uh, another $299 on top of your Tiny 2 in order to get that NDI connection. Not for everybody, but those who love NDI, which is me, like I'm like head first, all in on this NDI thing. It's crazy the stuff that I've been able to do with NDI and Obsbot the last couple of weeks with events outside of my house, at the church that I'm at, a pastor at, baptisms, being able to just like set up cameras all over the place and bring them into my streaming software. It's crazy. Like my mind is melting right now with all the stuff that I could do with this. I'm still holding this thing up. This, this, I'm sorry. Anyways, there you go. Obsbot uh, Tiny 2 NDI adapter. Absolutely love it. Thank you for joining this episode of Level Up. My name is Mike Newman. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, hit the like button, and the notification bell so you guys can stay notified when future content goes up because it is a coming. And until I see you guys in the next video, I'm out. And hey, don't forget to become a member. Peace out. I'm out.